Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Come on then, let's find out what we're going to do to beat all of these people into submission. Slow that down a bit in a minute, and first the up... The film about an enterprising newspaper tycoon is supposed to become an exceptional masterpiece. Help with building the extravagant scenery that's intended to form the setting for the drama. Okay, we need to deliver planks to film set three. A contemporary music film about the turbulent romance between two young Hollywood starlets is being shot here. Get your hands on the necessary props to create the right atmosphere. Well, that should be easy enough. Decorate the highlighted area on film set two with benches or streetlights. That I can do. So first up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that one. As you know, we'll, we'll go through and we'll find out what the rest of them are first. Actress Jane Russell needs a special bra that shows off her <clears throat> assets to the best advantage. Mr. Hughes fiddles around with an idea involving special steel supports. <laughs> we need to deliver truckloads of steel to make this thing. What is he? <laughs> Truckloads of steel are going to be needed to create the necessary support for this item of underwear. Right. Okay. That shouldn't be too difficult, actually, because we've already got it being delivered over there. So the steel is actually already being taken care of. So that one shouldn't be any kind of problem. It will just be brought to that station and it will be there. It will be done. Um, deliver planks. Deliver steel. This train here should be unloading steel and, and delivering some. There's some steel being put in. Is it going to be brought across the way? Nothing waiting at the moment. Right, well, that one will be easily taken care of. Uh, then click on here. That one's not quite enough. It doesn't reach Los Angeles film set three. So I'm going to need to put a route from there up to here in order to make that fit. I need planks to be delivered down here. They will automatically get brought to this point via the train, just so long as I have something connecting these up. Now, I only need to deliver 10 planks to there, so what I'll do is I'm going to take that one. No, I won't. I'll take that one. I'm going to take the standard street, and I'm going to put that one right across there, like that. And then I'm going to go to buildings, and I'm going to take a truck unload stop, and that one's going to go right there. No, it's not. That truck unload stop is going to go there, like that. I'm only going to have the one. I don't need any more than that. And then I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go new line, like that. And I'm going to add the main truck station in here, and I'm going to add that one up there. No more than that. And then I'm going to get two vehicles to run this one. Maybe even three. Five vehicles. Right. You right there. You have a capacity of nine. You do 30k. You do 40. We'll stick with this one. I like this truck. That's the standard one. I think we'll do three on this little loop, because I can always move them elsewhere, can't I? Devanch, Mahajan, Gusmanex, and Jordan. They are going to go onto line 11 down there, and they're going to start moving the wooden planks between them. I've got airplanes all over the place here, and they're very noisy. Airplanes are particularly loud. A group of screenwriting hacks is supposed to be responsible for the Pinko epidemic. Find out where these agitated characters hold their meetings. It must be somewhere in the industrial part of Los Angeles. Follow the clue. Right, let's go in here into Los Angeles. It's right here. Industrial building. Industrial building. Uh, there, residential. That. The communist ah. forces are sleeping and dodge your investigations. Stake out their homes in Santa Barbara and Bakersfield without attracting attention. Right. There's one home here. 
Residential building, industrial, residential. How am I supposed to stake him out? How do I stake out the home? Or have I actually got to click on the... I don't know if I'm supposed to click on the homes. I'm supposed to do it without attracting attention. This seems to be attracting attention. Right, there's... Let's, let's just go over to the question mark here a minute. It's that home right there. Ha! You've caught the pinko rats in the act with a handful of ideological pamphlets. Now they have to testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee in Washington. See to it that they get there as fast as possible. Provide an airplane for the journey to Washington by selling an airplane. Right, so I've got to choose an airplane to sell. I've got the Santa Barbara line here. Can't remember what airplanes I've got on what lines. I've got um, managed vehicles. I got two on that line. Those are trains. I've got five on that line, so let's random. I'm I'm closing my eyes and then I'm stopping. Uh, Jeff Bezos, very sorry, you're being sold. Um, sell selected vehicle, yes. So the main culprits have been blacklisted. Now it's just a case of getting rid of their supporters. Clean out Mr. Hughes's studios by firing the percentage of the workforce who've been contaminated with communism. Clean out the studio. The commie threat is over and done with. Nothing stands in the way of Mr. Hughes's career as the world's most famous film producer anymore. Okay, so people went on strike to try to get better working conditions. They were branded as communists and basically driven out. That sounds very familiar. Go and look at the history of Central and South America and you will find a similar theme for the last 100 years. Anyway, let's not get political about this, shall we? I want to go to assets. I need to put in um, benches and... Right, this is just... Uh, oh, there we go. A bench. Benches and streetlights. A bench. There. I need to put in benches and streetlights so that we've got a perfect film set. Decorate set. This is this is for romance. There we go. Right, romance. How do I Oh. Same like this. There we go. We can have beautiful romantic um benches for couples like this. Yeah, see? Right. Isn't that romantic? Isn't that romantic? Nice private little getaway. <laughs> right there. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Never, ne ne never mind. Right. We've got deliver planks next. Planks should be being delivered. I can speed that up. And I need to deliver the steel. The steel should be coming in. Right. I should have steel being delivered over here to the San Francisco train station. It should be racing in through. Being brought along by my train over here. I've got Thor right there. There's Thor. Thor has got 24 steel, 24 tools, and 36 booze on board. And he is racing down the track down here as soon as it finishes auto-saving. And on he goes. I could probably get another train on this track. Speed this along a little bit. But my question is... Will some of that go to there, or will it all go to here? I've now got so many vehicles running this line. It's just gone and put all of it onto here, and it hasn't put any onto the Los Angeles film set. I'm going to get another train running this line over here. So Thor, right there, I'm going to manage him, and I'm going to clone selected vehicle. Just like that. There. That one's coming out right there, and it's going on to the line. I'm going to give that one there a name. You are going to be called... What are you going to be called? Uh, the Good Gamer. The Good... Oops. Good 
gamer. There we go. I'm going to follow the good gamer along here like this. Off he goes. He is also able to be loaded up. He's got a little bit of steel. Although I've got no planks at the moment. And then he comes in that way. And then this dude goes on. I haven't had any planks being brought back yet. But there's some sat at the station here. So it could very well be that we end up getting some. I've got... Booze over here. I've also got planks here. Why have I got planks here? No, that's not planks there. That's just booze that was sat at the station. There are planks on Mr. Lubba Lubba. But whether there's going to be any planks left behind at this station. So there's Thor coming in now. I've just got steel in here. Right, line three now has planks being brought in for it. Thor... We'll follow you up through, and I'll see what you pick up. So there's 48 potential barrels of booze. Um, it's because I've only got two steak cars, so I'm not able to carry all that much in the steak cars. Um, the rest of the space that I've got on board is available to go and take a few other bits and pieces. But you can see now that I've got some timber that has been earmarked for being picked up and then brought back. And there I've picked up timber. I've got 12 timber. I've got 12 steel. That's all being brought down through. And then those trains go seamlessly past each other through the station. I'm liking this. I think I may have started. I'm not, I'm not going to say I've got the hang of signals. I'm going to say I may have started to get the hang of the signals. Just a very, very slight beginning of getting the hang of the the. the of all of it. Right, you over there, I've, I've actually brought one of you over. Look, delivered steel. We've delivered one steel that's been brought in. And then I've got four planks over there on line 11. Does that mean I've already brought one lot up? You're running around there. Gooseman X, he's got eight planks on board and they're going to be delivered there. Fantastic. I've now got eight of those. Uh, Jordan up this way, he's got four planks. So that's the planks that have been done. All we've got to wait for now is the steel to come in. There's building the backdrop. I've got 12 more steel in here. One of them has gone up to there. No, two. Right, two of those went into there. So we've just got to wait for a few bits of the steel to be brought in and... That's it. I'm not going to need to worry about anyone. I look at the Los Angeles exchange. Line 11 doesn't have anything at the moment. It's not going to be bringing steel. It's only going to be bringing the planks over to there. That's all we're going to be using. But they are using all of the planks. So any planks that are brought in, that will be a helpful thing. Thor is coming back. He's got 12. He's got six planks. Those tw How many of those 12 are going to be delivered here to produce our special bra? This is... <laughs> Ten loads of... Ten things... That, like, we, we, we're having lorry loads of steel brought in to produce this lady's bra. I mean, what what kind of contraption is he actually going to be building here? I can't do much else for a minute. I've just got to sit and wait and watch the trains to um, come in through. So we'll hang on here a minute until that one is finished. There's nine. The yes. most exciting film project of all time. Mr. Hughes is going to film the life of the great Genghis Khan. In the starring role, the legendary John Wayne himself. Create an authentic Mongolian desert scenario. Deliver sand to the film set four. Right, where's film set four? There's film set four. That's actually already being dealt with. Look, Franklin Street takes care of that, and I've already got sand being brought in for... Line six. Where's line six? Line six is over there. They're carrying sand up round that way and dealing with that. And then I've got the other line is over here. They're bringing sand back through. So that one will have the sand brought through relatively quickly. It's got to be what's brought to line 11. That's where it will ultimately end up. We've got 153 sand up there. 
in order to speed this up a little bit, we will add some additional vehicles to line five. So we will go manage vehicles on there, and I will do that. I've got six on there. I'm going to duplicate all of them. That should help speed it up a little bit. See if I can um, get them all named before it actually completes the mission anyway. There we go. We've got Alex. We've got Black Wolf 36. Patriot the film about the legendary Mongol leader is in the can. Thanks to your help, shooting the film near a former atomic bomb test site went off without a hitch. Now the greatest silver screen sensation of all time is supposed to celebrate its premiere. Although, Mr. Hughes doesn't exactly seem to be jumping for joy. In a nutshell, he's been acting very strangely lately. Huh, but that's rich folks for you. Prepare everything for the grand premiere so that the film has everyone attending, ooing and ahhing. Make the necessary preparations at the station, the hotel, and the premiere. Uh, anyway, where was I? Uh, Patriot, Gracemark, Silverwolf187, uh, Talleyrand, and Tiny Big Man have been added to Line 5 carrying sand. So that will speed that bit up. So now we've got to go and do some more. He's probably already not very pleased with this and wants to do something else and doesn't care about his film and all the work we've Everything done. Everything is ready. Mr. Hughes is the only one missing. He announces that he'd prefer to celebrate the premiere alone in a hotel suite. What's more, he lets it be known that he's in the mood for banana and nut ice cream. Lots of banana and nut ice cream. Fulfill this wish for him. Deliver ice cream to the hotel. Right. That... It's coming from there. It's already being done. I've got... A line on here. I got line six. They're already bringing ice cream over to line six. I've got five vehicles working that line. They will bring that back to the main depot and then that will head over there. So that's already being dealt Your with. Your boss's behavior is making you nervous. In the end, wasn't the film as good as it seemed? At any rate, it seems advisable to pacify the invited press a bit just to be on the safe side. A long bus ride will make them lethargic and manageable. Establish a line where a vehicle takes at least five minutes to get from the airfield to the Premier. Use waypoints to extend the distance of the line. Right, that we will do in a minute. That should be easy enough. And finally you. Bring the production stars of the silver screen to the Premier in a vehicle that matches their status. What could be better for this than the Super Chief? The train of the stars. Establish a railway line from San Francisco to Los Angeles and deploy the Super Chief on it. Right, well, I've already got most of that line in place. All I really need to do for the railway line is add in a bit of extra track over to here and I can utilize this one-way bit that we've got here and I've got all the signals and everything set up for the rest of it so I just need to bring this one out uh, I will just go and double check the directions that I've got on the lines over here so they go up on the right hand side and back on the left hand side that's where they go. They go up on the right and back on the left. So we will go from here. And they will head out on that way. This one here is just going to be a straight, simple join like this. Uh, no, I want to go like that. And then you will go out like that. To that point right there. And I've already got a crossover back in here. So I go up on the right-hand side and then back on the left-hand side. It's actually going to... It's going to go... It wants to go up on that side. So that one there needs to connect onto here. Like that. But then what I'm going to need to is... So I'm going to need to cross over on this. That's all we'll do is we'll put a crossover on it. We'll bring you over to that point right there there like that and then you will go like that I will cross you over like that um, I'll bring you into there 
like that. And I will also bring you from that point out over to here and join you into there. Like that. And then I will do a crossover here. And I'll do one there. That one's not going to work. Crossover on these corners, like that, doesn't seem to work very well, does it? Right, it doesn't like that. Let's pause a minute, because the noise of those aircraft in, in the background is, is quite loud. Right, if I remove that, Actually, it's not going to hurt for it just to stay where it is, because I've got other crossovers on the track in other places. So that's actually going to be absolutely fine. Um, so all I'm really going to want on here is I'm going to want to put that one on there. That one's got to go that direction. And then I'm going to want this one here. Uh, they both go that way. There's only what that, that is just a one-way situation there. So that one will come out like that. And you will go here, but then I can turn that into a separate block. If I can put one there, that becomes a separate block in there, which means that then they can come past it and they can use this block over here. I think that's how it works, isn't it? And then you come up this way. I don't need to change that block over. What I want to do over here is it goes up that way. So I will put one coming down there so the train stops there. And then that one's going up there so that will allow that one to come through. So I don't want to put one there because that stops the... We don't want to stop the trains on the crossover point. So I've got a train that will stop down there. And then you go up that way. So then I want to bring up here, and I want to go about the halfway point. So I have one there, and I have one there, like that. And I'll do the same again here, and I'll do another one there, like that. This is so that I can put multiple trains onto this track. I have one there, like that, and then I can put one here if I want to. Hmm. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put any more out there. Oh, I know what I could do. I could actually have a stop coming out of the station on both sides. So that they can use both stations. I think that might be how we want to do it. Okay, next up, I'm going to go through, and this time, right, what, what's the, the vehicle I need for this one? I need the Super Chief, the train, um, deploy the Super Chief. Right. Let's go and have a look at the Super Chief train for a start. Let's come down here at Los Angeles train depot. Buy vehicles. Oh, it is that one there. That is the Super Chief. I thought maybe it was going to be an electric one, but no, it's not. We need this Super Chief locomotive right here. So it's, it's something that we're familiar with, something that we've already used. But what I'd like to do before I do anything else is I'd actually like to go through and I'd like to do some upgrading. Because I did say I did say that I might want to do this. Um, high speed... Wait, how do I upgrade? I can do that. Where's the upgrade button? There. Oh. High speed upgrade tracks for higher speeds. And upgrade for counting area. So I do that there. I click on that one. And then I can upgrade the track. Ah. Right. This is why I couldn't figure it out in the last um, episode episode the in in like one one of the other one of the previous missions right upgrade all of that there that's already on high speed now i want to upgrade try and upgrade everything i will upgrade from here okay how far have i got to go on each thing to do the upgrade sections. Upgrade like that. If I zoom out a little bit more. 
There. Fantastic. Right. All the way down there. Big upgrade chunks like this. Excellent. And then all the way over to here. That's not quite upgrading everything. Oh, it's because of the... Oh, no. That crossover is all upgraded. Uh, I mean, I don't really need to worry about doing that bit in there. This is quite expensive, really, isn't it? How much am I spending? It's 30 grand for each of those sets. I suppose it's not that expensive. It's a little bit expensive. Let's keep going with everything that I can in here. All upgrades possible. Yeah. Uh, there's another upgrade I can do there. There we go. Right, that's all upgraded. That's all done there. And then I got more bits in here that need to be done. One bit there. It's the crossovers that seem to take a little bit. And then that up to there. That's just this loop here. I don't know if it's going to make a huge difference to the rest of the track all the way around. We'll find out in a minute. And then I've got a crossover bit here that I need to do. Uh, there and there like that. Right, that's... All of that is now blue, so then we can come back down here. I'll start down at this end, and I will start upgrading everything from here all the way up to the other end. All of it. Every single little bit. Even the bits coming out of there, it's all going to be high-speed train. There you go. I don't know why that wasn't working. That's what we're getting here. We're going for high-speed trains all the way through. I mean, it's not going to make a big difference. I don't know what the, the speed limit is. It doesn't actually tell me what the speed difference is between the high-speed tracks and the standard speed tracks. I know that they're faster. Anyone can figure that bit that much out. But uh, how much faster, I'm not quite sure. Oop. Auto save there. And another bit. Right, now I've got these crossovers. The crossover bits are the bits that don't, um, that they're not the easiest ones to do because of the, the mousing over them. Right, there, that's that bit done. And up here, see, again, it's the, it's the crossover bits. And, well, it's not all just the crossover bits. It's all of the bits. To you, to there, and then I've got those two, like that, see what I mean? Right, and then over this way, so I've got one there, one there, one there, and one there, and then I've got another crossover bit, like that. Take that out. And this should be the last little bit up through here. So we've now upgraded the entire track all the way through. Yep, that is it. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.